So we see be damned in the shallow places of everlasting fire. Watch this. May Yahuwah not he when you call on him? We don't even want the Most High to hear these wicked people when they pray to him. This is when the scripture is going to come to pass. These people are not fleeing out of these countries that we're in. It's going to come to pass. When Jacob's trouble kick off, they're going to pray that they be saved from the hands of Gui. And none shall be delivered. They said they was waiting for the most. They're going to wait for the most high to gather them. When they find out the most high is not going to gather them, it will be too late. These same people will be cursing the most high out. These people, what's already in them, they will cur they will start cursing the most high out. The Christians are right now saying the rapture is taking too long. I wish he hurry up. I'm ready to get out of this place. You see, these people don't know scripture. They are far from scripture. They have no idea. These are your 70 AD Christians. So may you who would not hear you when you call on him. This is what we should say to the wicked. May he not hear you. When you call on him, nor pardon you by blotting out your iniquity, we don't even want the Most High to forgive their iniquity. You see, this is the ancient path. And some these wicked people put words in Yahushua's mouth, making him say things he did not say. May the Most High raise his angry face toward you for vengeance. This is raw rough and rugged raw rough and rugged this is may there be no shalom for you in the mouth of those who hold fast to the fathers so we must be very very careful who we say shalom to you see right here lets me know if i know someone's a rebel someone turned someone saying something wicked no more should i say shalom we say th this is speaking peace to the person. This says may there be no peace for you in the mouth of those who hold fast to the Father. We should be saying shalom to these people. We don't know this. And they say that's hate. No, no, that's not hate. That's saying damn the wicked. We can't barack the wicked. We can't barack what's already been cursed. That's like our people going into captivity, about to be scattered. They them, the Most High told them that this place, you will see the abomination of desolation set up and you will be scattered in all the earth. That's like the people coming together in the house of the Most High and say, Barak be us. We won't be scattered. Barak be us. Baraka to us. And captivity come and you get scattered anyway. We can't barack what he's cursed. And we can't curse what he's barack. And after the baraka and the cursing, all those enter into the covenant. Everyone that heard this covenant, that agree shall say so be it. When you say so be it, you are in agreement with these people. Now, the Christians today, the camps today, they are not in agreement with this. And this person probably is not in agreement with this because in their heart, they believe the lie that we are to barack those that curse us. And the priest and Louis, and Louis shall continue saying, Cur they're going to continue saying, cursed be the man who enters this covenant while walking among the idols of his heart. So you with us, you agree with us. See, in the wilderness, there will be a covenant made with the people. And some of the people going to break this covenant. Two thirds of the people going to break this covenant and they will be cut off, eliminated. Only the one third, that one third would be one rough, tough group. One rough, powerful group. These people will be molded and shaped. These people will come out powerful, very powerful, not weak. They're going to come out with the ancient mindset, the ancient path. And you better watch out for these people. These people will curse and kill you. So, curse it be the man who enters in the covenant while walking among the idols of his heart, who sets up before himself his stumbling blocks of iniquity people set up for themselves 
stumbling blocks of iniquity, saying the Most High is the only one in the scripture that curse people. Man do not curse people. No man in scripture curse anyone. That's a stumbling block to this person. And it has become iniquity. So that he may backslide. Now most of our people are not backsliding. But some of our people come over wicked. They never, they're unrepentant. Hearing the words of this covenant. He barack himself in his heart. This is what we do. We barack ourselves in our heart. Wicked as wicked can be. But we barack ourselves in our heart. And we say, shalom be to me. Shalom be with me. This is what the camp past, the camp preachers, the pastors are teaching their people. Peace over them. What did the scriptures say? While they're saying peace and safety, all of a sudden, sudden destruction will hit them. So these people are saying, peace be unto me. Even though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart, if you don't receive this message, if you don't believe these verses, this is what I do here on this channel. I give scriptures, not my conjecture. And you bring forth your conjecture. We don't want to hear that. Where is my Ruach? Where his Ruach? Parch. Here we go. His Ruach. These people Ruach are parch. Parch is dry. Parch. Lack of truth. And watered with lies. Love your enemies. Do good to them. But rock them. To See? Watered down with lies. Shall be destroyed without pardon. It says these people will be destroyed. They shall be destroyed without pardon. Without pardon? They're saying... They're, they're saying damnation to these people. Damn these people. Damn the wicked. This is what they're saying. Yahuwah's wrath and his zeal for his precepts shall consume him to everlasting destruction. This is damnation. All the curses of the covenant shall cling to him. They are praying. For all the curses, remember I told you the curses, the scripture says the curses will be taken off of us and put on our enemies. It's going to be a mess when the curses get lifted off of us and you still with the enemy. The curses will remain on you. And this is where most of our people are at today. It says all the curses of coming shall cling to him. And Yahuwah will set him apart for evil. These people are set apart, set up for destruction, set up for damnation. And all we're saying is we agree. So be it. Damn the wicked. The Most High is saying damn the wicked. The righteous says so be it. Damn the wicked. You chose. You chose to be a seed of darkness. You chose to be a son of the darkness and not of light. And instead you spoke against someone that's trying to give people light and light only with no motives, no other, nothing in return. He shall be cut off in the midst of all the sons of light. Here we see, even though you within the borders, you go within the wilderness. We're going to know who you are then because when you get cut off, Oh, you got cut off. You was the son of the darkness. Because he has turned aside from Yahuwah on account of his idols and his stumbling block of iniquity. His lot shall be among those who are cursed forever. Damnation. Be damned. And after him, all those who entering shall answer and say, so be it. That's what the scripture says. So be it. What are we to do? You did this to yourself. Dead Sea Scrolls 193. You have made them error and confusion without a way. And you have chosen our fathers and have given to their seed the precepts of your truth and your Kadash judgment. The Most High gave his people the precepts of truth and the Kadash judgments by which a man, if he practiced them, shall live. Man was told to carry out this, these judgments. Part of these judgments was death to the wicked. Sending the wicked to damnation. 
You break the Shabbat, death. They had to bring forth this judgment. And when they stoned them with stones, they're saying, damn the wicked. There you go. You're gone. And you have established boundaries for us. And curse those who transgress them. Don't you curse these boundaries? Do, don't you curse these boundaries? And we are the people of your redemption of the flock of your pasture. You have cursed those who transgressed it, but we maintain it. And dismissed man shall leave, and the dismissed man shall leave, and whoever eats from what is his and greets the man who has been dismissed, here you go, greeting them, shalom, shalom. And agrees with this wicked person, Shaul. You agree with Shaul? Watch what it says. You agree with him. His case shall be the record by the guardian according to the degree. And his judgment shall be complete. And all the inhabitants of the camp shall assemble the third month and shall curse him. See, when you agree with the wicked, you're going to get cursed with him. And to the right, you turn from the left or the right of the Torah, you shall be cursed. And in this foregoing, this is the interpretation of the laws for which they shall observe in the age of the visitation, which will be visited among them during the age of wrath. There's a visitation during the age of the wrath and their marches for all those who dwell in their camps in all their towns. This is what's coming these people will curse the wicked we see the proof of it you have the righteous the sons of light will battle with the sons of darkness and they will speak before they go into battle you saw the video make ready for the battle they will speak curses over the sons of darkness this is scrolls page 493 may Yahuwah be set apart for the evil from the midst of the sons of light. May he set apart, may he separate us from this evil because he has turned away from following him. And they shall continue saying, be cursed. Here we go. The people once again cursing too many verses. There are many more scriptures, too many verses that showing the people cursing. Malachira. Malachira is the king of evil this is the king of wickedness those that's running around with the king of wickedness in all the thoughts of your guilty inclination may your deliver you up for torture at the hands of the vengeful avengers our people missed that message may your not heed you when you call him once again may he raise his angry face towards you and may Shalom not come out of the mouth of the righteous towards you. We don't get this yet. Here we have Dead Sea Scrolls, page 1634. Cursed be the man who does not stand by and keep and practice the commandments of Yahuwah issued by the mouth of Moshe. So you're cursed. If you don't, you see, that's why it's our people, most of our people are cursed already. Christianity is cursed already. They're cursed. They don't walk according to Torah. They said the Torah, the law is done away with. They are cursed. And they try to come and shed light on us and give us light and say we are without understanding. His anointed one and follow the, uh, Yahuwah, the mighty one of our fathers who commanded us from the mountain of Sydney and he spoke to the people of Yashara face to face listen the most high wrote these tours with his finger he wrote the ten with his finger and we have people not wanting to agree or live by the commandments written by the most high commandments don't even come out of the mouth of the Christians they won't have anything to do with his Torah his law Teaching and saying is done away with.